You will now see a man from England with native English score a band nine for his performance on the interview. Native English speakers are often required to take the exam for ESL teaching positions. For lots more video lessons, six original exams, and a fully interactive course, join our premium package where you will find speaking opportunities with other students and professionals. Log into your My Student account, click the Student Partner Speaking, and begin improving your communication. You can also use this code to get a 10% discount from our premium package. Now watch and learn. Welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. It has three parts. I will give you instructions for each and I'm going to record it for marking purposes. To begin, I will ask you a few questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. What is your full name? My full name is Stephen Andrews, but please just call me Steve. Okay, Steve, may I see your passport, please? Yes, here it is. Please take a look. Thank you. Okay, here's your passport. Thank back. You. What do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, I like to play football with my friends um, and also watch movies with my wife. Just the other night, we watched a new school Scazy film and it was really, really entertaining. Who do you spend your free time with? Uh, as I said, I like to socialise with my friends, obviously playing football, uh, also with my wife. Um, I also spend a lot of time with my family, be it my parents, uh, my siblings, or other relatives. Um, I'm a very social person. Let's talk about communicating. Who do you text with the most? Mm, that's, a, that's quite a tough question. Um, I would definitely say my wife and probably my best friend Frankie. Uh, we text each other quite a few times during the day. How do you usually communicate with your friends? Uh, with the advancements in technology, um, mainly nowadays I use my smartphone. Um, use uh, applications such as uh, Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. They're really good, uh, affordable and fast and easy ways to communicate. Are you a talkative person? I would say so, yes. Um, I find it very easy to talk to people. Um, I like to socialize a lot. Um, I've been told I'm actually quite an extrovert. When is it difficult for you to talk to others? I'm a very chatty person, so I find it easy to speak to most people. The, the only time I'd say I find it oh, difficult to engage in conversation is if someone appears aggressive. Just the other day, um, I had a bit of a run-in with a very angry shop assistant and it was very, very awkward to say the least. Have the way people communicated these days changed compared to a generation before? Oh, absolutely. The method of communication has changed dramatically over the past 30 years uh, with the advances in technology. Um, nowadays you have such applications and software as Skype or Messenger which allows you to text and also to video chat. This is simply unheard of back in the day. If you could improve communication technology, what might you do? If I was given the opportunity to improve uh, devices such as smartphones, um, it would definitely be I'd improve the digital connections. Um, there's been quite a lot of times it's, I've, you can't hear what the other person's saying. Um, the calls, they can be quite muffled or distorted. That is the end of part one. Now we will continue with part two. For part two, Here's a card with some questions. Please don't turn that over yet. Thank you. Here's some note paper and a pencil. You will have one minute to look at the questions on the card, think about your answers, and then you will have two minutes to speak. You can take notes in the one minute if you wish. I will tell you when to start, when to stop. Are you ready to begin? Okay, yeah. All right, then uh, go ahead, turn over the card, and your one minute preparation time begins now. Okay, Steve, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Um, about six months ago, I had a really unpleasant experience um, of a flight from Vienna to London with uh, Onyx Airlines. Um, the, the first issue for me was um, I know they put the seats really close together to save expense and uh, to maximize space, but 
I was literally, my legs were up against my chest. I was like a sardine crushed in a can. There was literally no room and I, I couldn't get my legs down. I couldn't get my hand luggage in. Um, the next part that was really the worst part of the experience for me was when I actually landed at Heathrow Airport. Um, I went to the luggage carousel to collect my luggage, waited 30 minutes and my baggage just didn't arrive. So I went to the luggage um, claims counter, asked them and it turned out they put my bag on another flight. I was like, I had all my clothes in there, I had important documents that I needed that day. So as soon as I got home, I went straight onto my laptop and I made a complaint to the Onyx Airlines Complaints Department. About, I'd say three or four days later, I got an email back with a very nice apology and a £200 voucher. Um, really appreciate the gesture and the voucher, but next time I book a flight, I'm gonna obviously going to remember this whole experience and basically the pain and disappointment it caused me and I'm not sure I'll actually fly with Onyx Airlines again. Okay, your time is up. I'm going to stop you there, Steve. Please pass back the note paper, the card. Thank you. Yeah, and the pencil as well. And now we will continue with part three. For part three, I will ask you some more questions related to the topic of part two. Let's talk about complaining. To see the rest of this lesson, part three, as well as an explanation for this band nine score, Visit and join our premium package at aehelp.com and use this code in the video description to get a 10% discount. Good luck the next time you sit your test. Subscribe to our channel, click over here, watch another video, click right up here and click our IELTS Hero to join our premium package and get access to all of our videos, practice exams and a fully interactive course.